hi everyone my name is Samantha and welcome to my YouTube channel Sewing in Switzerland. So today you will have to forgive I'm in a slightly different filming setup at the moment and um, basically we have only in Switzerland we have some sheep that have relocated to behind our apartment block and they wear the big alpine bells so it's very very noisy through the night so as a result we have moved into the sewing room to sleep so we've got this kind of makeshift bed going on here so you might be able to catch a glimpse of that on the camera so today i thought we could have a look at i've recently purchased some new fabrics so i thought i would run through november sewing plans and how that's looking for me and the new fabric purchases that i've got here so it would be nice for us to do that together. So the first thing that I'm going to make in November is the Paper Cut Patterns Nova Coat Pattern. And I've got, I've got a bit of a backstory to it, so you'll have to bear with me. I've got this fantastic fleece in like a bright, very, very bright magenta or fuchsia style pink. It's really, really beautiful very thick perfect for like a really cold day not a wet day or a snowy day but cold day certainly and then for the lining i've got this art gallery fabrics uh like i think it's called meow or something it's like an orange um 100 cotton orange cat fabric and it's got like oh, it's upside down <laughs> it's got some like cat faces on it it's really really gorgeous and you know it's so the art gallery fabrics are like one of the designer style fabrics and I purchased it and it was quite expensive I haven't got that much of it just enough to line the coat so how much did I get I went for three and a half meters and I got it from Minerva.com it's all paid for none of this is sponsored I purchased everything myself and it says it's 100% cotton, 100% premium cotton. It actually says here on the salvage. Do you know, it feels a bit cheap. Like I spent a lot of money on this. It was like 50, 60 pounds for three and a half meters, which I thought was pretty steep. I know it's not like Liberty steep, but art gallery fabrics are considered like a designer brand. They're quite expensive. And I thought I wanted something really nice for this coat and I'll explain why or specifically why this fabric. But now that it's here, do you know, it's got the sheen and I don't doubt it. I know it says 100% cotton, so I'll take that, their word for it. But I'm kind of tempted to do a burn test because it's got that real shiny poly cotton sheen to it and it feels a little bit plasticky and it's very, very thin, very, very thin for 100% cotton. It's quite sheer. The lighting isn't great because of where I'm positioned. But if I put my hand under it, I can see my hand like very, very clearly on the other side, which I would not expect from 100% designer fabric or whatever. So yeah, the quality for me, I don't think it's there. I, don't, I think it's a lot of money for, for the result actually so i'm not sure if this is the case with all art gallery fabrics or maybe i'm just expecting too much or maybe it's just like a bad run i don't i don't know if you have any experience with art gallery fabrics i would be very keen to hear your thoughts on them so so this is the fabric anyway so the reason why i kind of splurged on this coat here is the pink fabric that i just held up i had uh two cats and one of the cats, unfortunately, caught, um, had a very aggressive form of cancer and he died. And then sadly, my other cat immediately afterwards got the very same, very, very rare form of cancer and died within a couple of months of, of losing our first cat. So it was a very traumatic time. It was very, very sad. And as part of the palliative care for our first cat, Ollie, he used to uh, have his drugs and 
and then he would come and I made him like an igloo out of this fabric because it's so big and so weighty and so heavy and so thick and fuzzy. He would, um, it would like stand up on its own. It's got, you know, there's not a lot of movement to it at all. So we'd make him this little igloo and he'd get inside and he would curl up in this fabric. And I've kept this fabric and I've been unable to, you know, sew anything with it for knocking on actually two years now. And I've not been able to do anything with it. And now feels like the right time. I'm, you know, processing the, the loss of a pet. And now feels the right time to make it into the coat, which is what it was you know, originally earmarked for. Anyway, so I wanted to honor my other cat who then obviously passed away afterwards. And he was a ginger, a ginger baby. And so I thought this orange fabric with the cat faces on would be perfect. And it goes very nicely together and it would just be, it's just a really gorgeous um, way to honor them. So normally I don't really sew for sentimentality. I certainly, I don't make, you know, blankets or quilts out of memory items or anything like that I tend to just kind of sew what I need or, or what I would like so this feels like a real emotional make for me and I think I'm going to track this and the emotional kind of feelings behind it in future videos as well so that's my that's my cat coat that feels very special so I was kind of hoping that this fabric would just live up to the hype and that it would be a little bit higher quality for what I wanted it for and considering the special meaning behind it but it it's yeah it's very expensive for not a lot of quality I think so yeah let's move on to what I've got next next one I'm gonna make a dress in this one it's like a navy blue this <laughs> I got for like three pounds something a meter on minerva.com i'll post the link to it because the quality is fantastic there's it's not sheer there's no shine to it it's 100 percent cotton uh it's very opaque it's got that nice weighty cotton feel not like this one this one is like in comparison completely different Whereas I expected this one to be a bit hit and miss because it was so cheap. And I thought, yeah, you know, it's three pounds something for 100% cotton. It, it could be terrible, but it's fantastic. It is a real quality piece of fabric. So I think I'm going to make this one into a dress. Undecided. Next one. Next one. <laughs> Do you ever promise like family members or friends that you're going to make them something? And then you just kind of never quite get around to it. I told my dad <laughs> that I would make him a dressing gown for the house <sighs> a year ago. And I did actually make it. I made it in this fantastic navy blue fabric. And my husband saw it and he was like, mm -mm, I would like that, please. So he uh, gazumped that and kept that one. And then I had this other fabric and it was like a dog print fleece fabric that I made a dressing gown out of and I thought yes fantastic like maybe I'll send this one to my dad but then I liked it too much so I kept it <laughs> it's the third time lucky I got this kind of forest green again these are all from Minerva I just did like one big shot and you know earmarked everything that I wanted to do in November and this is just nice fleecy dressing gown material I always make the same row pattern I do the Rebecca Page relaxation robe. I've made it so many times and so many different types of fabrics and it just turns out great. It's just a real staple if you're a dressing gown person. I'm guessing, you know, if you're watching this in the UK, you definitely are. Dressing gowns aren't really a huge thing in Switzerland. Like, I rarely see people talk about them. I never see them for sale in the high street. It's, uh, yeah, missing a trick because dressing gowns, they solve all problems, right? Bad day, put a dressing gown on. Don't feel very well, put a dressing gown on. Have a cup of tea, put your dressing gown on. It's just, yeah, it's it solves all my ways. So there's the one I got. This one was quite pricey, actually. It was, uh, it's one of the Minerva own exclusive fabrics. So they've started making their own fabrics and their own patterns now, I believe, as well. So I got this one, it was about 
gosh, I want to say like 15 pounds a meter, actually. It was quite steep, considering I don't really regard them as like a design or a luxury fabric brand, but the quality is there. It's nice. I got this. It's uh what do, what do we get? It feels a bit like a lightweight linen, but I think it's like a viscose. I'll double check. It feels like a, it has the texture of a linen. It's got, you can't feel any slubs, but it's got that kind of thicker, bobbly linen feel. But I think it might actually either be a cotton or a viscose, but I'll double check. But it's nice and thick. It's not very sheer. I was a bit worried when I purchased this because it's very light. I expected it to be quite sheer, but it's not. So I'm thinking it was originally going to be like a duster or a blouse. But because it's quite opaque and also it's got this beautiful drape to it. It's very, very gorgeous drape. So I think what I might do is like a nice autumnal wrap dress. Maybe the peppermint wrap dress. I'm taking ideas on this one. So if you kind of look at it and think, oh, yes, Sam, this would be amazing for this. Please do let me know in the comments because I'm not fixed on a pattern yet. So this is the next one and the last one that I've got here for a make in November. And this one was what I had originally earmarked as a wrap dress because it's got that wonderful kind of Diane von Furstenborg style print here so I thought this and like a wrap dress would be classic DVF but do you know what the other one what I expected from the other one is actually prevalent in this one so it's quite sheer if I put my hand under it I can see straight through actually I can even see the coloring of my hands so it's it's not very um opaque at all it's actually quite thin it doesn't have again it's this is 100% cotton it doesn't have that kind of shiny almost poly like feel that the art gallery fabric uh fabric art gallery fabric fabric had so yeah i mean the quality it feels like a nice cotton it doesn't feel plastic at all it feels very luxurious um very good quality it is just too sheer unfortunately is a little on the thin side so yeah i think what i wanted to make this in will be changed to something else now maybe i'm thinking a shirt either a roscoe blouse but then i make so many roscoe blouses if in doubt make a roscoe <laughs> seems to be my life motto so yeah i'm not sure what to make it in actually um maybe like a nina lee blouse the bakerloo blouse with like a big collar detailing here maybe to really pull out the navy colors i think it's navy rather than black the kind of ink splodges here but again i thought it would be really good for like the changing season it takes us from like the summer colors to more like deeper autumn winter so if you have any advice on what to turn this one into please do let me know also i've missed i just wanted to recount the fact that i missed a couple weeks videos actually my husband is really poorly and awaiting surgery now next week so i'm a little behind on videos so please do message and comment and tell me what you've been up to because i am itching to get back on youtube and <laughs> You might have followed the drama or on Instagram or just noticed that my account had gone missing. I uh, accidentally, actually it wasn't me, it wasn't me. I will not take the blame for this one. YouTube uh, ballsed up for want of a better word and accidentally deleted my account. <laughs> it was just for no reason, like there was no, um, it wasn't suspended or complained about or anything like that. It just disappeared. <laughs> for a week and they said you know this is our mistake we're working to restore it and it did eventually come back but so that was a week and then my husband is obviously awaiting um kidney surgery next week so yes on the back of that actually if you have any good tv recommendations please do let me know about them because i'm not quite sure on the recovery time but he's gonna i guess be looking to watch some tv so if you have any like crime or comedy 
thrillers or dramas. We've recently just watched, oh no, that's different. Only Murders in the Building. We watched it on Disney Plus and it is so good. So good. So it's got that whole comedy, murder mystery vibe and aesthetic going on. It's, it's really great. And also the costumes, fantastic. Really, really great knitwear. Fantastic. Highly recommend that one if you're looking for something to watch. So that's kind of the informal catch up that I really wanted to chat about and my November sewing plans. So if you can help me out and recommend any patterns that you would think would go with these fabrics, I would be truly very, very grateful because it's not that I've lost my sojo. I'm just kind of facing off to a little blocker here actually, a bit of a blocker. So I would very much appreciate that. And I hope that you are all keeping well, staying safe, having a great couple of weeks. And I wish you all the very best and I will see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye.